blowing up. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I hope I see everyone next year and hope I see everyone at pre season doing catching practice. And Spain is going to take us through the first one. Right, he's painting. So I think he's got me some painting. Didn't really happen. That's my excuse for it later. Here we go. Um, uh, our first, uh, our first award winner is a uh, good summer of his season. He has uh, missed time his dives many a time. Um, he's uh, He's uh, fallen over several times, and he's also uh, dived well after the ball's gone. <laughs> he's uh, won the uh, Speaking Shit Award twice. Um, he's, uh, his famous comment for the year was, uh, I only get injured once a year just before getting injured for the second time in two weeks. Um, his uh, major fines, a summary of some of the fines, uh, got fined for I only get injured once a year, fined for uh, diving early or late. Uh, one of the best ones I saw, I thought was uh, wearing your shirt inside out and making up a bullshit story to say uh, something about what was it? How do you uh, Yeah, it's, it's good, good luck. luck. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Um, also, running out the drinks with no pants on. <laughs> and also, uh, also running out drinks to Russo on Nani who was bowled shortly after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, very, it's, uh, we all know what uh, Arnie's diet's like. Everyone's hauling into their KFC and their Burger King and everything, and Arnie's on the bird seat, so. Uh, <laughs> 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 then Arnie with his award. What's that? What is it, Arnie? Bird seat. Bird seat. <laughs> Our next award winner. He uh, has had a few uh, few finds this year. This award winner. Um, he's uh, some of the worst performances of his year. Uh, wearing a stupid beanie in the middle of summer. Uh, he was also uh, late five times. Five times. And uh, I think the most, the most famous was uh, when he left his kit in Mum's car yeah. and went to Hobart Bush. So I had to borrow gear. <laughs> Summary of some of his finds. Uh, he's uh, been fined for blowing up seven times. <laughs> he's been fined for a beanie twice, late five times, and uh, one of the. Uh, Ones that some of you might remember, he wore shorts, his training shorts instead of boxers when we went out for dinner. I think you should. So we like to present Blakey. 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 Where are we going to wear it to the rest of the show? And you're like, hey! What is this? What is this? Uh, you can see it right there. Blakey uh, like got fined for not sharing his Easter eggs and <laughs> also leaving the ground several times in his whites. <laughs> Our next award. Uh, this, this guy was uh, very famously trying to pick up the Randy Pete scorer. He, uh, has uh, come up with some great comments this year. He's also uh, a scoring genius. He's uh, managed to stuff the books on several occasions. Uh, he, he did ask do they have scorers at the SCG because they do have an electric scoreboard. He's always on the phone. So some of his finds are uh, scorebook 12 runs out. Uh, at one stage during the year, he picked up the wrong phone and said hello to the wrong phone that was... <laughs> 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 so, uh, he uh, was asked how his steak should be cooked at Lone Star and had no idea what she meant. <laughs> and he also believed that we were at Lone Star for Hodjo's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, due to uh, his scoring performances, we've, uh, we've got Blake in the eraser pack.
Ja, ja, ja. 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 <laughs> um, uh, he, he was bowled off the same ball twice in a row this year. The first one was a no ball. <laughs> he's, uh, he's been fine for wearing socks with thongs. Socks with thongs. For not having club shorts. Uh, for ordinary side screen operation. And also for watching Starstruck. <laughs> decided to award uh, Chucky with the yes, no paddles. <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> so how do they work again? How many run outs have they involved in? Oh, wasn't this the five? Oh, I think it was five. Twice. Oh, yeah, next, and next award winner. <laughs> He's uh, <coughs> often uh, not attempting catches when he should be, and he's had a terrible time down at five leg uh, running in, running back, <laughs> not, so, not knowing where the ball is. But he's also very laid back in everything he does. He's been fined for not attempting a catch. He's been fined for mum bringing his clothes to the game, uh, for wearing boxes with Libra written on them. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> <laughs> He's also been fined for walking like a country boy. <laughs> We've uh, <laughs> two awards for Crito. One's the uh, one's the cup for still helping with direction down the line. <laughs> and the other one's a pillow with I'm sorry for stuffing up the catch and being so laid back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is another here we go. Now this man has been fined several times for bowling in warm-ups. <laughs> he, uh, he's also the uh, the man for a blow-up on any occasion. He, uh, he's been fined a couple of times for not tubbing. He's been fined for walking off the field first without waiting for a top performer to leave. Uh, he, he, has, he has thrown a return throw, overthrow to the boundary. <laughs> he, uh, he wore, he wore di di dirty socks to dinner. <laughs> he wore the same pants as Russo. And if you'd like to stand up, gentlemen, and show everyone that you're wearing the same pants again. again. <laughs> so uh, the award we've got for, uh, for Hodjo is um, in... Uh, in response to his performance last week after the third grade final where he had his inaugural spew. <laughs> we, have, uh, we have some photos at my house. So, uh, the award for Hodjo is a bucket for his spew. <laughs> and as Pop said, that demon alcohol. So we've got him the demon alcohol <laughs> bucket. <laughs> Okay. The mullet. The mullet. <laughs> the mullet. We, uh, at one stage during the year, he decided he'd call Crito Richo for some reason. <laughs> he's, uh, he's been fined for being pissed at the start of a game. He's been attempt uh, he, he got fined for attempting to find Cambo for being out of gear when he was in the right gear. He was still drunk at the time. Uh, fined for wearing sunnies on his head at 9pm. <laughs> fined for the mullet. So our, our award that we've got for Matty Kimber is a uh, hair trimming kit. <laughs> <laughs> Mari's not here, but we got Mari a first aid kit. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one's another good award. This guy didn't spend much time with us. He headed back to fifth grade, learned how to bowl. <laughs> uh, at, at the start of the year, he was he was the favourite to win the Golden Plunger, but uh, it was lucky he didn't play with this because I'm sure he would have been a standout. Uh, he's been fine this year for wearing thongs with socks. For having a poor, poor picture on his phone, 
uh, for shit comments <laughs> and for not carrying the plunger. Um, but Pom has, uh, some of you that know Pom and how he feels uh, know he has a bit of problems with digging his knees in when he slides. So, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We've got Tom up here and Nate Pat. Right now, Tom. Yeah. 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 Alright, here we go. Now, the next award's for Russo. He, uh, some of his highlights for the year was he had to borrow someone's phone to work out his average. <laughs> he, uh, he ran out of credit, did he? He's for forgotten the plunger on several occasions. He at one stage asked if we were going to bat again after we rolled a team for 150 when we were still miles ahead of them, going for outright. Uh, we find him at one stage for having white writing on his back where he put the sunscreen, he'd written something on his back with sunscreen and he got burnt the rest of his back and it <laughs> Uh, starting that stupid schnick game or carrying on. <laughs> uh, disrespecting the plunger, the, uh, a couple of blow ups, uh, having no idea was another fine. Having no Stupidity, uh, wearing the same pants as Hodjo, and uh, another favourite was knowing the Bow Main song. <laughs> another one getting bowled on 92. <laughs> Some of you will know the story about <laughs> being, uh, being sent into the shop to get a bunch of two bananas and returning to his dad, he said, they only come in bunches of four that. <laughs> so uh, we decided we'd give him the, uh, the bunch of two bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Next award is myself. Um, there's been some highlights of my year, being late after the Bulldogs Grand Final win, being late after Daylight Saving changed, not knowing where we were playing, not knowing who we were playing. <laughs> At one stage I did go to the, to the wrong end to move the wrong sight screen. <laughs> often blowing up at umpires for calling buys. Um, I've been fined for that several times, moving the wrong sight screen. I did wear a Penrith shirt to our Lone Star dinner, <coughs> carrying on uh, the McJoking McGame. And uh, I was fined at one stage for playing third grade and getting rolled for 65 and not blowing up. <laughs> so, uh, Arnie, I'll let you carry on. The award we got him was two clocks. Mum, you can set for daylight savings and one for non daylight savings. <laughs> <laughs> so I can remember when, when to come to a game. <laughs> Okay, the next uh, the next uh, award winner was at one stage this year bowled by the seventh ball of the over. He he went out to bat and forgot his box and thigh guard at one stage. He was being fined for not attempting a catch, uh, running onto the field without his hat on. Um, he has, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, been fined for talking shit. <laughs> He's also been fined for not getting enough fines. So, uh, if you know Hodjo, sorry, so you know that he uh, he doesn't speak much. So, so we've got him a microphone, so we can. Stelman, not here. Go on. What else? Stel what some of Stella's highlights were trying to him? fight the ground, <laughs> <laughs> blowing up at himself, um, <laughs> believing Glenn McGraw would be playing uh, PGs, PGs. <laughs> <laughs> and also a few scoring problems. <laughs> right. Big Stella. Now this, uh, the next award's got a lot of writing. He, uh, he, uh, he has, uh, his highlights include having the most varied bonds. He's been fine for just about everything. <laughs> At one stage he put his whites on to go out for a warm-up. <laughs> as, as we all know, he gets uh, plenty of fines for talking shit. And attempting to find other people for talking shit. Uh, one of his famous calls was, I bowl like Steve Harmson. <laughs> and uh, he's also been fined a lot for having a crap bowling strategy. 
I'll, I'll get him bowling short, trust me. Okay, so some other finds include um, trying to overfind Blakey. <laughs> Disputing a blow up. Wearing, having a shit towel. It was pink. About this colour, wasn't it? Um, wearing his towel around his waist while he had undies on. Finding others for bullshitting. <laughs> Uh, at one stage, he was operating the scoreboard and standing in front of it, so no one was <laughs> And uh, he was also fine for not bringing beer to the qualifying final, then giving two shit excuses, and then, finally, asking for money for the beer as well. <laughs> so, uh, the first award that I'm presenting is actually to Christine. <laughs> oh God. And what we've got to oh, you, Christine, is a couple of sets of earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thanks very much. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we also we have two, two, two more awards. We uh, have the. Uh, the toilet brush, because most of the stuff you say you can flush down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've got a US Tubby Caller which says, uh, salute to the world's famous bullshit artist. <laughs> 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 okay, now it's, uh, it's the time of the evening when we go to our major awards. Blakey, <laughs> <laughs> don't look so confident. <laughs> okay, uh, the first major award is, uh, is for uh, being provided with the best afternoon teas in Sydney grade cricket, and that goes to Mrs. Bones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a little teapot. <laughs> what did you get? A little teapot. <laughs> The, uh, the, uh, the next award is for the best scorer in Sydney grade cricket. <laughs> and what we have for you, Daddy Bones, is a super-sized pencil. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Take a note of yourself, right? Oh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> 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 Go on, Ed. I'm glad you got that. <laughs> Hey, this lasts me about five seasons plus. <laughs> the, uh, the next award, he's not here, so but we'll, we'll, for effect, we'll bring out the award anyway. The next Canberra, award is the Glenn Venable Speaking Shit Encouragement Award. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a roll of toilet paper, and that goes to Canberra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now we have the official speaking shit award. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all know who this guy is. Hey! Now those plugs in. My mum's gonna love it. The uh, the next award is uh towards the end of the year we were warning guys for not tubbing because it could park their uh, doors and everything so there's no embarrassment at all. So this award, the, the non-tab award, goes to uh, Hodger. Hodger. <laughs> now what we've got for you, Hodger, is a little <laughs> ring that you put on your head so the shampoo doesn't get you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good, I don't. <laughs> The <laughs> 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 third last award for the evening is uh, he's a standout performer in this uh, particular category. Uh, this award is for having the most fines. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a special award for you, Blackie. We've got a money box so you can start saving to pay your fines. <laughs> Nominations included myself, uh, Hodjo, uh, Hodjo, uh, Hodjo, uh, and Hodjo. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> you need a bit of a, bit of a collection then, mate. You must go some classes for that, don't you? Ladies and gentlemen, the final award. Are you going to drum roll for that? The Golden Plunger. <laughs> now, this, uh, there's a number of contenders for this award. Uh, there's uh, been a lot of stupid comments made this year. And I think the best one we ever heard, he's famous for a few this year actually, but the best one we heard was uh, that he believed that a little man <laughs> was underneath the ground at North Sydney and he'd run around, run back and forth and hand your helmet out to you. <laughs> 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 golden plunger, ladies and gentlemen, oh, goes yeah. to no one else but the bone man. Yeah. <laughs> One more award. One more award. One more. You've got to bring that back next year. It's only a perpetual trophy. Just thanks for holding the barbecue, the Bonesies. A couple of nice bottles of wine. Yeah, well, wine for me. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot my award. This award goes to a man that's taken out a lot of awards today. And it's a little stubby collar. And this said, Salute to the world's greatest piss pot. Thanks, guys. How are you, Brett? How are you, mate? What's your name, Yon? Have you snapped it or? What? Yeah, I know. He's blown up a few times. Okay, the, uh, this man has uh, been fined for wearing the wrong gears on several occasions. He's, uh, he's a very good sledger. He's very good at speaking shit. <laughs> um, he's got fined for disrespecting the Speak Shit Award. <laughs> wearing hair dye for the semi final. <coughs> Uh, talking about having a nine and two field, that makes it eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use a keeper, does it? Throwing dirt at Blacktown. <laughs> uh, he's blown up four times. Now, the award that we have for you, Brett Campbell, is uh, one that came from a North Sydney game at Tunks, Tunks Park, where uh, Brett came uh, with a condom in his pocket. <laughs> so, and uh, not only did he have it in his pocket, but he went through the warm-up with it in his pocket. <laughs> so what we have for you... <laughs> is, a, uh, ...is a big condom, mate, to put on your beer bottle. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, lads. Uh, the other award... Uh, you weren't here, but we did say something about this award. It's the Glenn Venables inaugural speaking shit award. Encouragement, Encouragement award. Encouragement. And that goes to you too. Yeah. 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 It's been passed out. He's hungry. I think that's Joe. Is Joey coming? Uh, I got the, uh, the major prize. <laughs> yes, I don't think you're good. We've all got to wear you. Things that you can do for the presentation. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That actually suits you, Blakey.